Hello, it's uh, Adrian Crawford, it's Williams Crawford, Walkabout Wednesday, and this week I'm here with young Harry, barely 18 years old, the son of our salesperson Andy, who I'm sure that you've seen in lots of other videos. He's fully responsible for this young lad, and what I thought would be interesting is just to find out what the tastes of a youth are compared to an old guy like me. So uh, with that, come with us and I'll show you around. Hi Howie, it's all, all right. yours. Let's see what you've got going on. This will be really interesting <laughs> because I think I know what he'd like, but might be, you never know. These kids surprise people. Ooh. I want to start with this. What, what have you, you're kidding me. <laughs> what is number one in our Porsche shop? Number one in your Porsche shop, I would have the MR2. Why? Well, it's just, for a start, it's the cheapest. And it's no less cool, in my opinion, at least. Compared to everything around here, the looks, it's just, it stands out completely. And especially with the pop-up headlights, and the wedge shape on the back and these alloys, they're brilliant. I love them. Hmm. Well, you've shocked me already, <laughs> which is um, <laughs> unbelievable. I thought you'd go for the most expensive thing and he's gone for the cheapest. Okay, on to the next. See what else right, you got. Next one. Right. No more non-Porsche. I thought we <laughs> talked about this. Right. Yeah, next one for me would be this 964. I right. have been in this car, yep. and the f first start, the color combination on this specific one is brilliant. I love the white interior against the blue bodywork, especially with the blue roof. But that's just perfect to me. And it's got the gearbox, the gear lever that isn't, you know, it's not fiddly like the older ones, but in my opinion at least this one's just as cool as all the older ones so yeah it just works out to be the best of both worlds for me so 964 this is a 964 this is the same era as that um mr2 yes 80s yeah so 80s late 80s early 90s yes okay another surprise <laughs> all right where else are you going I do apologise about his hairstyle. <laughs> no? Unbelievable. <laughs> we'll go next to this one. Another 80s car. <laughs> um, okay, good yet, choice. Yet My favourite. Another one that I have been in. And um, in fact, I went on a half hour drive in the back of one of these, which is not very comfortable, but it's such an unforgettable experience. And, we, went, we were in a restaurant looking out of the window, just looking at it, and it's just unforgettable. There's nothing better than being able to look out the window at a car like this, and uh, it's just so special, everything about it. And this specific color combination in any lighting works perfectly with the black and the silver wheels and the red and the whale tail spoiler. It's so perfect. Well, this is my, um, this is my specialist subject. It's an very early, in fact, 83 registered, 84 model, very first of 3.2 Carreras in a special order color that was last seen in 1969, Polo Red. So you're unbelievable. <laughs> okay, what else we got? What else well, attracts you? Do you permit me to pick another non-Porsche? Go on then. All right, well, if you turn right here, <laughs> there is this extremely heavily modified GI Yaris and you know, this is probably the most expected from me as an 18 year old to like, yep. but it's just crazy. It's so over the top and so loud and aggressive. And that short shifter it's got as well, had a go playing with that and it's just brilliant. It, the feel, the engagement is incredible. Oh, you are not surprised me on this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a proper 
lad's car. It is, But definitely. you would get yourself into serious trouble oh, in yeah, this. Absolutely. It's sort of way too fast for a youngster. <laughs> it needs a nice, uh, sensible man like me to be using <laughs> this. It is really gone beyond a road car. It is a full-on track car that you could drive to the track on the, you know, you could take it to the track on the road. You could go anywhere with it. It's going to be reliable and you could get there, do your stuff, bring it home. It'd be perfect for that. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, really, a lot of sporting potential with that. So, um, yeah, I f fully understand that choice, Harry. Good. Should we go outside? Whatever you like. <laughs> really haven't planned this and we don't know where no. he's going. <laughs> I'm going over here to this 993, which I don't think is actually for sale, is it? I but don't think it is. We've had plenty like it. Oh yes. This this specific generation for me, I mean, I, I love the 80s ones, but if I was actually going to own one, this is the one I'd pick, but purely because it's just so much easier to use as a car compared to all of the other nine early 911s and you know I haven't driven one but it's just it's just cool and it's so cool <laughs> it's cool it's as cool as all of the older ones but so much more drivable so much more livable and well, again, yeah oh well I've, I, I get that these work really well it's a 993 that is from 95 96 yeah. age Yes. and I've driven them thousands of miles. We've got a few in stock. They work really well, easy to live with. Yeah, I'm 100% with you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm agreeing with you so far. <laughs> now, what else we got? We said we had, I think it was six. Yes, um, how many have we done so far? I reckon we might have done five, but I'm sure you'll, um, you probably needed a calculator and I can still count on the <laughs> fingers, so. Um, is there anything else that attracts you? Ooh. I think. <laughs> the 924. No. That's a 944. Oh, it looked like a 924. Well, it's not like even this, a yeah. 944 at the moment because the <laughs> engine's in pieces, but. Oh. Um, well, either way, the 924 and the 944, I've. Lo like watched loads of videos about them, how they were built as Volkswagens, but then Porsche bought back the licensing to build them themselves. And you know, the 924 was really good, and that's what I would have said if it was a 924. Do you know what we got? I think two young lads, both about 17, 18, running 924s who come in here for their maintenance. Yeah, and yeah. It, it makes sense because a lot of people say that they're Volkswagens and they have Volkswagen engines, but they still drive like Porsches and they still, they're still built by Porsche and they're just, they're brilliant. As well, the 924 was a collaboration with Volkswagen and if you rightly say, they had the Volkswagen engine and the 924 turbos, which were good. Yeah. We don't see too many of them because there's not many that are um, um, sort of viable nowadays. 944s, proper Porsche engine yeah. and Four cylinders, works really well. We've got a few of them in here. Let me show you. <laughs> so we got uh, that one. Go. That one's on 44,000 mile. Yeah, this color is beautiful, I would like to say. This white, well, I mean, it's just, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so I like this, um, but I'm surprised that you do too. Yeah, well, a lot, I think a lot of people of my age group would agree, this, especially the pop-up headlights. That does a lot for a car <laughs> in my group of age. It's just... Telephone you know. dial wheels? Yes. But you probably can't even remember what a telephone <laughs> dial looked like. That You put your fingers in and wound the thing around. So tally dial wheels. That is cool. Okay, what about something truly modern? Truly modern. Okay. And you could take it home tonight, Harry. 
In your dreams? In my dreams. <laughs> yeah. I would probably take this one home. The Carrera GTS. Have you been in it? No, I have not, but I've heard lots of very, very good things about it since it has come into the showroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, uh, what I see with them is such beautiful finish inside. Yeah. Um, a lot of these are bespoke cars, so this one's got the deviated stitching, the Alcantara, the leather to the top, I th um, the carbon fiber inserts, orange dash fence, all these things are you pay extra money for. Yeah. Um, being a GTS, they were loaded anyhow, but sports seats, uh, goodness me, I think that might be 18 way electric adjustment. Mm -hmm. Uh, PDK? So yes. what about you? You're a young lad. PDK, which is what you'd know about from, from your... Cayman, your, yeah. Yeah, and, and from all your computer games yeah. and <laughs> stuff and simulations. Or manual, where are you? Or for me, definitely probably manual. Well, that was an interesting exercise <laughs> with an 18-year-old. We don't get too many of them in here. <laughs> we do look after a couple of 924s for youngsters. And, um, but seems to me like this is a car nut in the making. <laughs> and I blame his dad who sat at the, sat at the desk behind us, yes. who's uh, trying to look after someone there. So. Thanks, Howie. It was really, really interesting. Um, you know, bad news that you're not getting anything for free, <laughs> apart from a, a, a little bit of experience at Williams Crawford. But um, yeah, it's been fun doing it. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks so much. All right.